Sex in general is very interesting, isn't it? Sex is a weird thing, right? I would have more sex, but you have to ask so many questions, you know? Do you like that? Do you like that? Do you? Do you like it? Do you like that? Do you like that? What part do you like? This part or the last part? Which part do you like? I'm gonna get a pen and write down the part you like. You love pens, don't you? You love stationery in general, yeah. It's a lot of questions, a lot of questions. I don't get why in life anybody has any like aggression or violence in their lives because life gives you a zone where you get to get all of your aggression out with no penalty and that's why you're having sex. You get to be fucking crazy when you have sex. And that, that yeah, absolutely. This guy obviously especially. I don't want to know what you do in your life but you all of a sudden became alive when I said that. <laughs> Did a sleep ball fucking show, I mentioned crazy sex. You're like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh my God, the poor woman sitting next to you. Are you all right? You have what? You're his girlfriend. Right, that is what I implied right there. Thank you for taking us back one step in the show right there. Thank you so much. What do you do for a living? Sex addict? What do you do? I have a six pack. You have a six pack? You are kidding, because that makes no fucking sense as an answer. What do you do for a living? I have a six pack. You want it shipped? This guy can ship it for you wherever you would like. What do you do for a living? That means what your job is. Financial advisor. Are you really well off financially yourself? Here's the answer you don't want from your financial advisor. Are you well off? Mm. Look, I, I'm not great at it. I'm not great with money. But I could probably help you, you know, put it, put it in fucking, put it in fucking stocks. Look at my six bag, hey! I mean, what a weird individual that guy is. I just don't get why anybody's aggressive in their life when you get to get your aggression out while you're having sex. And that dichotomy, most of us are very sweet, loving people to our partners. That dichotomy we all have, it's just so weird to me. We can just hop between those two personalities with a moment's notice. Most of us are like, so sweet. We're like, baby, I, I'm with you because I love you. I'm with you because you're just a sweet, you're like a sweet melon head. You're like a lovely <laughs> muffin of dreams. You're a bu made of butterfly parts and you're good and pure and muffin-like and you're very, you're like a muffin top of a lovely muffiny melon sandwich and you're a sweet angel. You wanna make love, baby? Sure, you whore, take it! Cause you're a whore! You're the opposite of a muffin. You're not muffin, you're a bad, devilish whore who hates melons and muffins and you hate everything that's good about the world. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Tea? I'm gonna draw some tea, muffin love. We love muffins. Some people take it a step further and they will choke and or slap the person they're having sex with. That is illegal behavior. But somehow while you're fucking, that's no problem. So fellas, if you ever find yourself in a bar brawl, here's a piece of advice. The cops show up to arrest you, pull out your dick. <laughs> yes, the cop shows up. You are under arrest for assaulting that... Oh, I didn't realize your dick was out. <laughs> you have fun, kids. Anybody drinking alcohol tonight? Round of applause for drinking alcohol. Make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. I like alcohol. I was real drunk two nights ago. End up at a restaurant. Three o'clock in the morning, scarfing down a huge amount of food. Because at the end of a long night drinking, you do one of two things. We all know it. You either hook up with somebody, or you eat so much food, <laughs> you reduce the odds you will ever hook up again. <laughs> I chose plan B. Because plan A failed miserably, so plan B kicks into effect. <laughs> I was scarfing down a huge amount of food, right? I'm eating, I'm eating a sandwich, and salad, and bread, and my friend's bread, and his fries, and my fries. <laughs> And this gorgeous woman across the restaurant sees me doing this. But I'm not gonna stop, I already paid for this food. She gets up, crosses, leans into my booth. Here were her exact words, she says to me, you're eating like an animal. I was kind of offended. So I bit her. <laughs> yes, women love vampires, right? I bit her in the neck, told her she's gonna live forever, around the fuck out of the restaurant. Yeah. I'm not welcome at all Denny's anymore. I would drink alcohol more, but there's so many rules you have to follow, you know? So much protocol you have to follow to drink alcohol. Like, let's talk for a second about girly drinks. How did us men screw up so badly that we're not allowed to publicly drink delicious drinks? <laughs> Who made that fucking decision? 
Like I'm a man, so I like a taste of beer and whiskey, but you know what I also like a taste of? Strawberries. <laughs> Everybody likes strawberries. Don't fucking lie. You're telling me a real man can't have flavors he likes in his mouth? Get that flavor I love away from my mouth. I mean, it makes no fucking sense. Who's the only group of guys who are allowed to drink delicious drinks and not get shit for it? Oh, obviously gays. They get to do all kinds of fun girl shit. Who's the other group of guys? Black guys. You ever see a black guy at a bar? He's always got a bright blue drink in his hand. It's got lights in it. Pretty sure it's got lights in it. It's got hydraulics in the drink. It's bouncing up and down. There's no drink left in the drink. Because black guys don't take shit from anybody. I drink delicious drinks. I get called names. What's that, little girl? It's tasty, sir. Please do not harm me. What makes even less sense than that is I drink smoothies all day long. No one says shit. But I put alcohol in my smoothie and now I'm a bitch? What? I'm getting drunk in my smoothie. That's gangster. That's gangsterific. Nothing makes sense, man. I don't understand the world. The other day, right across the street from where I live in Hollywood, they opened up a gay black nightclub. And first of all, that is very specific. <laughs> but secondly, if you think about it, inside that nightclub must be the most delicious drinks on earth. <laughs> the flavor there must be magnificent. I'm almost willing to risk the gay black sex. <laughs> Just for a strawberry surprise. You do not want to order a chocolate surprise. It's very different. It's very different. All the conventional wisdom seems wrong to me. Like, what's the big advice we're given these days? Eat organic, locally grown food, and then run all the time. Eat shit grown right here, and then run away. Why should we eat organic and run? That's exactly what our ancestors did. They died at 30 years old. We eat shit all day. We live into our 80s. I think the secret to long life is high fructose corn syrup. That's what I believe. I drink straight corn syrup every morning. I will live to be 205 years old. And I will be 900 pounds. With a great protective layer of fat around me, nothing could harm me. You're 900 pounds, you could get shot. And just be like, whatever. I have several days till it hits anything important. I can just wait till I go to sushi on Friday and chop stick it out myself. You have a lot of options when you're that size. Everything we're told is wrong, man. The world is so weird. Best example of how weird the world is, is Chris Brown is back on top. Back at number one again. You know why? Because we are shitty people. Yes, we have no standards. We don't give a shit. If you entertain us good, we don't give a shit what you do. He beat up a woman. That's one of the worst things you could possibly do. It should be like Megan's Law. They should have to announce that everywhere he goes. Even on award shows, they should have to say, and the award for best dance video, he does beat women. Chris Brown! What a dick, but he sings and dances great. If you're a double threat, we don't give a shit what you do. That's carte blanche. Probably that night when the cops showed up, they were like, Chris, what did you do? And he's like, I don't want to talk about it, but check this out. <laughs> they were like, Chris, great move, bro, great move. We didn't see shit, have fun, kids. And we all know this started with Michael Jackson. We all know he was doing fucked up shit with kids and we were all like, let him do it. Maybe that's how he writes. Maybe if he didn't do fucked up shit, we would never have the moonwalk. Maybe that's how he thought of the moonwalk, as quietly as possible backing out of kids' rooms. There's no way to know, that's the point. You never can say goodbye. Dancing in general is weird, isn't it? Dancing is kind of a weird activity, isn't it? Isn't it kind of a primitive, primal activity to dance in front of somebody? You think we would have evolved past that by now, but we don't, we dance. You're standing in front of somebody, you're like, are you attracted to me? You're not? How about now? <laughs> Look, I'm shaking my whole fucking body in front of you. You attracted to me now? <laughs> dancing at least used to be dancing. There was dips and twirls and spins and moves, all in hopes you'd like impress somebody with your elegance and athleticism. Now I go to dance for him, like, would you care for a dance, young lady? You would, bam, 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 bam. My cock is involved from second one. Bam, bam, it's my private and her private. It's very private, what's happening very publicly. Bam, 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 bam. She 
she turns around for a while and her ass is smashing against my dick. It's like she's opening a hot dog business and trying to find a perfect match for her buns. Bam, 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 bam. She turns back around. Bam. I was inside her spiritually. Bam, bam. I could have drawn a picture of her vagina blindfolded. Bam. After an hour, I tried to give her a kiss. She goes, no. We've been fucking for an hour. What an arbitrary line to draw. No mouth kissing? What? What are you, Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman? That's an arbitrary line. That's like somebody inviting you in to rob their house. You're like, take whatever you want from my house. I'm walking out with like a, a leather chair under my arm and a bag of jewels. By the door, I'm like, can I have one of these free mints in this dish? No mints, you greedy fuck. Take my family jewels and get out of here. So weird, man. The world is weird, who make weird choices. I'm always studying women, you know, I'm always studying women. I'm always studying women to figure out how they think so I could get more of them to like me. Which is why I watch Girls Gone Wild videos. I figure if you study girls when they're in the wild, it'd make a lot more sense in the city. So I popped in a DVD and it begins these two girls drunk at a bar and the guy behind the camera goes, show us your tits. And one of the girls goes, no. And he goes, come on, show us your tits. She goes, ew, no. <laughs> so he has to think fast. So he goes, all right, what if you both show us your tits at the same time and then smash them together? And the girl goes, all right. I don't know how that pierced through her logic. This genius behind the camera back here, this Spielberg in training, just upgraded it from a simple flash to a lesbian pornographic activity. And this girl's got less trouble with that. She's like, yeah, that I'll do, fuck yeah. So they flash their tits and they smash them together. And I swear to you, the girl turns to the camera and goes, Minnesota! What an odd time to be overcome by state pride, isn't it? So the Minnesota Tourism Board wasn't welcoming her back home. Great stuff, Rebecca. Great stuff, thanks for the shout out. Here's the key to the city. It actually just works for my apartment, but use that shit, all right? It's ridiculous. I meet mean, a lot of weird people doing stand-up comedy, you know what I mean? A lot of interesting people, like this whole front fucking row. <laughs> I was doing a show recently at a college in the Midwest, and after the show, I was talking to this 18-year-old girl for obvious reasons. <laughs> and I asked her, I said, I'm curious, what do you think of our first black president? And you couldn't make this up. She goes, oh yeah, what's his name? Rocco Bombera? <laughs> Rocco Bombera. I was blown away by this wizard of information. So I asked her, I said, I'm curious, what do you want to do when you graduate college? To which she replied, oh, I want to be a news anchor. The anchor, the information center of the news. The center. So I was like, maybe you want to be the anchor, maybe you want to be like the weather person. To which she replied, exact quote, nah, because then you got to learn all about astrology and shit. So I began writing this down in my comedy notebook. She says, are you writing a joke about me? I said, yes, I am. She says, oh, you gotta tell him my name. And I was like, you want me to share your name in a joke about how you don't know shit? And she's like, yeah, I don't care. So Facebook that genius. <laughs> Say what up from Santa Barbara. Yes. I meet a lot of interesting people. I was doing a show recently in the deep south and I get off stage and this guy comes up to me and you could tell he had an obvious lack of both manners and teeth. <laughs> and he says to me, he goes, come over here, boy. And I was like, I'm about to be raped. <laughs> That's the way it goes down. I'm gonna get raped by this guy. And he goes, come here, boy. I won't buy you a beer. And I was like, I was not going to drink tonight, but I thought you were about to rape me. So one beer is a fair compromise. <laughs> And he goes, Bob Tender, let me get a couple beers for this boy here. I'm gonna get him nice and drunk before I rape him. And I was like, that's the way it's gonna be. Could you make it a strawberry daiquiri? Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Thank you.